Hey, I hope everyone's having a good day. Uh, for me, it's actually Black Friday. Uh, my local store had quite a deal on their remaining Wise Swartz cards. Uh, so I got these loose packs here. Uh, and then a bunch of other ones. I think 14 slime and 20 loose packs of Card Captor. Uh, and then I also got some more boxes to open as well. Uh, just wanted to put some time aside tonight to do. Just a quick little opening figure. We'll start with these. Uh, first of all, I want to go through the JoJo's. I'm certainly most excited for these. Uh, I'm not a huge sword art fan. Uh, I don't think I've even seen more than a couple episodes of Allization. And as far as the Fujimi sets go, uh, I think there's somewhere in the neighborhood of 20 different shows represented there, and I honestly think I've only seen two or three of them. A couple of the more popular ones, like High School of the Dead, uh, I haven't even seen, and Day Live as well. So that may be blasphemy to a lot of people, but I just have never put the time aside to watch them. But they are in my to-watch list, so eventually I will get to them. But JoJo still remains exciting, so... I'm very happy to get to open some more of these. It's pretty nice. Souls Will Bertirati. Uh, nothing I'm really looking for out of uh, JoJo's at this point, other than some more SSPs. Or SPs, I guess. Uh, it's pretty nice. Two double R's in a row. Certainly off to a good start. There were only a few packs left in their open box of JoJo's, and then I bought out the rest of their full sealed product for it. But it's nice there, even out of five packs, to still get two double R's is definitely nice. I was never a huge fan of. Uh, Trisha Stan, to be honest. I think it was a very nice story piece because they could incorporate it into doing a lot of different things. But I think for me it would really have had to come out a lot sooner in the series for me to end up liking it very much. Her first adventure of it with it was certainly good. Um, though when they first hinted at her having it with the claw marks, I was expecting a lot more out of that. I never read part five or six, so I wasn't really aware of what to expect for it. All right, so let's move on to sword art. So only a few of these as well, five. So like I said, nothing I'm overly excited about in these ones, but since I got them, I figured I might as well open them anyways. There's at least a couple SPs in Fujimi that I wouldn't mind having, just because I do know some of the characters, but Sword Art, they would just be uh, put in sleeves and forgotten about for the most part. curious what everyone does think about sword art though. For the most part it seems to be very hit or miss. There doesn't seem to be much of a middle ground for it. Uh, I am on that middle ground. Uh, I certainly don't hate it but I'm never excited to put some time into actually watching any of it. I think the first half of the first season was the only real enjoyment I got out of the series. Gungal wasn't bad though, I will certainly say that. So nothing exciting from those four packs, but or five packs, but I wasn't really expecting too much out of it. Now Fujimi we have four, eight, twelve, thirteen packs. 
So out of this, I'm hoping to get at least a couple double R's, maybe a triple R or SR would be nice. Uh, obviously, any SPs are great bonuses. Uh, see, this is one of the shows I had seen. Uh, I think it was Asterix Wars or something like that. But most of these are going to be pretty unfamiliar to me. Uh, I did get a couple promos from the uh, loose boxes. Uh, and they actually both ended up being pretty good ones. So they'll definitely uh, go into the binder for trades at some point. my local store does is whenever you finish off a box uh, that's who gets the promo. I've been to a few stores where it's the opposite. I'm not a huge fan of that. That just means if they don't have any uh, loose packs for a certain set you can just have them open it and then you get the promo no matter what. So I always thought that was a little strange. I've actually gotten some great promos though. I even uh, got a cowgirl promo from them. Uh, that one was a very nice surprise when I bought the rest of their Goblin Slayers. I think I still have one box I haven't opened of Goblin Slayer, but I don't know when I'll end up getting around to that. Certainly would be nice to get another cowgirl promos. Those are uh, very in demand. So we did end up with an SR. Again, I, I feel horrible for never actually watching High School of the Dead. Or not High School of the Dead. Uh, yeah, but eventually I will get to it. Uh, I'm, I'm just not very into anything overly etchy at this point. I think it's kind of run its course through me over the years. Certainly something I know I'm missing out on, though. Everyone seems to absolutely love it. Same with Data Live, so... Maybe sometime next year. Right now, my backlog, I think, probably has at least 20 different shows in it. So, it's gonna be a matter of actually having time to do anything. Uh, so, Full Metal Panic, I do uh, know that one. Uh, I can't remember which one was the comedy version and which one was the more serious, but I definitely got a kick out of the comedy one, that's for sure. Uh, I remember when I was first watching it, I couldn't stop calling it Full Metal Jacket, though. Uh, everyone always found that kind of funny. I just was incapable of saying Full Metal Panic. But... Luckily, that doesn't come up too often anymore. It's one of those shows that everyone enjoyed, but no one ever really talks about. I never did watch the remake they did recently for it, though. That I kind of wish I did do. So, we are getting a lot of double R's. That's pretty nice. Uh, the SR was obviously great to get. I have no idea when anything's worth in these sets, since... I never look at the cards for them, but hopefully it's something, at least something someone will want to trade for. It's just the, I think that's the rare version of the same one. Right? Red haired rune princess? Yeah. So as expected, not much has really looked overly familiar to me in this set at all. I'm going to have to go through the different titles on this, though. With somewhere around 20 titles, I'm sure there's more I know. Or even just ones that I'm forgetting at this point. It's definitely a lot of Asterisk Wars cards, though. Seem to have pulled 
almost one per pack. I definitely like the art on a lot of these series though. Oh, another, uh, another double R. I think out of all of this, uh, Data Live would probably be the one I would be most willing to watch. So, let's see what we got total. I don't think we got anything from Sword Art. I think we got two double R's from JoJo's. Yeah, so. So, we have six double R's and uh, Nassar. So, I think there was a total of 23 packs, so we definitely, definitely beat the average on, or at least got it right around the average. Uh, three packs, you could pick up the extra double R pretty easy. So, either way, I'm certainly not disappointed. Um, but hopefully next time, I might get that card captor Sakura box. Well, the 20 packs from the box. And uh, I think I have 14 slime packs as well that I got today. So hopefully we'll do those next and then I can start looking at the boxes again, seeing what I actually want to open. But hope you all enjoyed it.